Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be installing the new Okara Opla switch in Mi Home. As I said in my previous video about this switch, this is Zigbee 3.0 device and it works only with Okara Gateway or the new Xiaomi Multimode Gateway. Okay, so first let's run Mi Home app and go to the new Xiaomi Multimode Gateway. At the end of the menu, we'll find Add New Device. We'll see if it detects it by itself or we'll have to choose it from the list of available devices. We'll just add the device manually. Okay, so here it is, wireless scene switch with six buttons. And uh, once we select it, it tells us to uh, hold the button at the bottom, at the, the, the other side of the switch for five seconds until the light at the front uh, flashes blue. Here is the light. So let's try one more time. Okay, the light is flashing. So hopefully it will find it. Okay, here it is. Device bound, initialized extension. And now we have to select the room in which the device is located. I'll just say it's in the living room and go next. We'll leave the name the default remote control because it's the only device of such type great illegal information and here it is and uh, there are no logs because it's empty and the device should be at the top of the list here it is remote control so now is the time to create some automations okay so let's go to the remote control and let's see what's in the settings not much we can rename the device Or we can uh, also manage locations, uh, assign it to a room, which in my case is a living room. Then, uh, of course, we can set the password as for any Xiaomi device, send feedback if there is a bug or something, set the device time zone, which is already set, so we'll, we won't be changing it. And um, that's about it. Okay. Now, let's create some automations. So, we create new automation and we go if, then select the device, which is uh, this six button uh, switch. Unfortunately, the first uh, menu is not translated, but you can see these lines, one, two, and three, so we'll guess that those are like uh, first, second, and third buttons. Okay, single press, double press first button. So yeah, that's definitely a first button. Yeah, there's a second button. So let's assign single press first button first. And then we'll assign a device which we want to turn on or off or do whatever. So we'll select lamp. We can name the automation and that's about it. So let's go to the next button. So F, then again go to the device, which is remote one now. Select second button, single press. Then we'll select another lamp. And we'll also go turn on off, which means toggle the light. And we'll do the same for the uh, third button that's it single press as well and then assign the action which will be 
something else we already assigned two lamps so let's see what we can do oh we can assign ceiling also toggle so that means that when you press first button second button and third button it would toggle the lamps or ceiling so let's now see another action this is a fourth button will assign a long press to some other action it's a bit silly that you have to select the device in if but uh, you have to remember that there are multiple ifs so you can combine for instance if a movement sensor detects motion and you do this and you do that and the temperature is above 25 whatever okay so in here we'll switch the brightness level it means that if we go increase brightness level it would only increase it and when it gets to 100 percent you won't be able to do anything with it if we go uh, switch brightness that means that it will toggle between three or four different brightness settings so each time you press it it will go from lowest to higher to highest and then again to lowest and it will like cycle so we'll do that for all these three lamps which we did the toggle we'll do it uh, for brightness for instance and then there's also double click which i won't be assigning now because uh, because it takes too much time to assign everything so let's see it in action Okay, thanks for watching and if you like my channel, please subscribe.